Back in May 2021, I went up to Edinburgh for a bank holiday weekend with my sister and her partner, so I thought, why not bring along a camera and get some film snaps? The camera I brought was my Yashka Mat, which shoots 6x6 photos and is from, I want to say, the 1960s. The film I used was a roll of Thermography 400 and Ektar 100. I also shot a roll of Film and Pan 400 out and about in Edinburgh, but not for our hike. One of my favourite weather phenomena is fog, so I was especially excited when we got up that morning and found Edinburgh was steeped in the stuff. It made Arthur's seat look especially ominous when we got there. I started out with my roll of Thermography 400 since it was a bit overcast, and I really like this combination of punchy colours while the white fog creeps in. As it turns out, I think we chose one of the steeper routes to get to the top, which garnered several complaints from my sister. Here she is. But I think we could both agree it was worth it when we got there. The last photo I took on the Lomography 400 was this portrait, which despite the sun coming out in full force and having a 400 speed film, I still managed to severely underexpose it. For our descent down what is considered the easy way up and down the hill, I loaded up the Ektar 100. This worked out great because the fog had almost completely receded and I got to take advantage of the lower film speed. I only used half the roll in Edinburgh, but I like the saturation of Ektar and the way the reds really pop with it. Here's a quick snapshot of the rest of the roll I finished when I got back home. Overall, this was a great hike, and the Ashka Mat isn't the worst camera to have slung around your neck for a few hours of walking. I love this camera for the vintage look that it produces. Like a lot of cameras and lenses from this time, it loses focus on the edges of the frame, but its middle is pin sharp, and the square form factor is just excellent. If you like these photos, feel free to give us a follow on Instagram, and stick around the channel because I'll occasionally post some more photography videos. Thanks for watching.